I've known him for 31 years. <laughs> Is he here? He's, he did, I know, and that's very important. He's going to have, his son is going to be here, so. We're shining a light for just a moment to show everyone up here. We're negative land, and uh, we are Sue C. Is it safe? And is it safe? Extremely excited to be here. And as <clears throat> some of you may know, there's been, uh, you know, we thought the show wasn't going to happen. Uh, some other venues decided it didn't feel safe enough yet for them to be open. But the Olympic community came through in an extraordinary way. So we cannot thank you enough for all of the efforts that have gone on to make this happen. I, I lived here in the 90s for 13 years, so actually it kind of made to me, it's like, yes, of course, I, I knew they could, I knew it would happen. <laughs> so, so yes, to, to Markley and, and Pat, I'm not gonna remember all the names, and the ABC House, of course, uh, for agreeing to do it. Uh, yes, thank you so much. And we also really wanna thank you, because obviously we're touring and you're coming out to a show in the middle of an insane uh, moment in, in, our, in our, our reality. And um, I guess for Negative Land, this felt like kind of the scariest moment to be touring, but also, if you know anything about our work, it felt like the moment like we had to do what we do. <laughs> <laughs> and we know you're here because you really want to be here. So thank you so much for coming out. And uh, I guess if the police come by, we'll, we'll turn it down, but hopefully it won't be too loud. Me, me. It's normal for some things to come to your attention. It's normal for some things to come to your attention. It's normal for some things to come to your attention. Think dog or no dog. Dog or no dog. It's normal for some things to come to your attention. True or false. True or false. You're watching live music. The national anthem is being sung to a click track that you can't hear. You're watching live music. It's okay. It's normal. It's normal. It's definitely okay. It's normal. It's normal. Ask me if it's going to be okay. It's normal. It's normal. For some things. It's okay. Ask me if it's going to be okay. It is black or white. One or zero. It is stop or go. Dog or no dog. On or off. One or zero. One or none. Dog or no dog. Go or no go. It's okay. Or black or white. One or zero. One or zero. Again. True or false. One or zero. Yes or no. Dog or no dog. When we face a sea of data that is reality, which signals do we keep? You must choose. One or zero. One or zero. You can't have both. Dog. Or no dog. You must choose. In sworn testimony. Buy or sell. It was a choice of two possible messages. can be on or off. 
then surely by the time the words I love you were spoken, no information was communicated at all. Unscramble mumbling, unscramble mumbling, unscramble mumbling, dog or no dog, one or zero, dog or no dog. there. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Nothing. Nothing. 
No explanation, no announcement. The visitor stood about waiting. No. Then he began to seek out acquaintances and friends, and still nothing happened. Freedom. Discussing this, they began to argue. The basic misassumption is that it's very difficult for all of us because we all have brains and they seem to be the same. Think though, perhaps, we could say, it's very difficult for other people to understand all of us. Manipulable. You have different ways of thinking. You eliminate everything except the one answer. No. Well, it could be this. It's either this or that. Just how far can you go on this thing? You have no other choice, did you? Quite soon. There were two camps among them, with strongly opposing views. Next, the crowd had separated into two, and spokespeople, men and women, had emerged. Being invited up and then ignored. Think God or no God. Debates ensued, then quarrels. Small scuffles began among the young men first. What's I can't talk. At that point, when it was obvious that more serious fighting would begin, the psychologist appeared and said that... Which side are you on? Which side are you on? As Ed explained right from the beginning, this is a social experiment. Research was going on into the tendency of the human mind to see things in pairs. When you allow yourself to be confused. Either or. When you're kind of confused about something. Black, white, all of us. Can't imagine it. I and you. We and you. All of us. All of us. Good and bad. The forces of good, the forces of evil. Can't imagine it. You, the crowd, have only been here for a couple of hours. And already you are separated into two camps with leaders. Well, it could be this. Well, it could be that. Each side sees itself as a repository of all good. And the other camp has it the best, wrong hidden. We snap in the And you are on the point of fighting about absolutely non-existent differences. Our cause is right. There's a strong head. Well, I wonder what would happen if you allow yourself to be confused. When your brain is creating new patterns, we all are in this cultural we all are trance. In this cultural trance. We all are in this. We all are cultural in this trance. Cultural trance. We all are in this. We all cultural are in this trance. Cultural trance. All of us. All of us. All of us. As a people, it's very difficult for. Us. Our idea is correct. Theirs is nonsense. There's nothing downright evil. All of us. All of us. We will drown the enemy in seas of his own blood. We will drown the enemy in seas of his own blood. It means... Continue, please. Idea. Warm. Melt. Thought. everything when you were crossing a street you would never get across the street we have to cut it down to a manageable entity entity one trillionth of the information that hits your eye actually gets transmitted to the brain you don't actually see what gets edited out it's less than a trillionth of reality that we exist in we think you can have a problem. Less than a trillionth of reality that we exist in. We think you can have a problem. When you perceive something, you have a tenth of a second before it becomes conscious. 
and it will change in that tenth of a second. We don't all see the same Google to fit to fit what you already believe. I repeat from time to time. My brain and I are one. 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 One or zero. I repeat from time to time. I repeat from time to time. My brain and I are one. Or no dog. Or no dog. My brain and I are one. Alert the media. We are the media. Alert the media. We are the media. The networks mimic the human brain. We are the media. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because your body is sick. Without doing it, we're surrounded by this array of personalized filters. It's almost a membrane. This is between us and the world. There's a way to measure the acute emotional intelligence that has never gone out of sight. If you want a chance to show an ad to a person meeting this specific criteria, tell me how much you're willing to pay and do it in less than 10 milliseconds. Idea. Thank you for listening. Idea. Thank you for listening to this record. Idea. But perhaps you have never heard it. War. That is impossible. For such beauty and detail could not possibly come from an explosion. Your mind can start to prefer that perfect filtered version of yourself when you start to prefer the filtered version of yourself as opposed to your actual self on camera. It's almost like you're not human. You're almost like a baby. A beautiful, flawless, bright-eyed baby. If you have a certain worldview, your body is not you. That doesn't allow you to see the facts. It facts. would be easier for us to believe them. Then you won't see them. Nobody has thought. And it is certainly nothing physical that makes us know that truth is important. The result of an explosion. Flashes of light will change, and ideas will change. This universe. So when you have facts that come in that won't fit the way that you understand the world, all of its beauty and design, the facts will either be ignored, ridiculed, or attacked. They form a living protein. In fact, the machine itself makes the edit. All the ideas are physical. They're in your brain. We could use. That part of your brain is not going to change. It is not as important for you to know. No brain. Why? It's like it's not even a fact. Ed, Ed I've got news for you. This, this is normal. And you, and you wake up and there is a rattlesnake on your stomach. This is normal. There it is. This is normal. There is a rattlesnake on your stomach. It's normal. That is impossible. But I have my intellectual doubts. Because your body is sick. So where are you getting your information? From the media. Where the social media? Some of it was CNN, I believe. And CNN said so the four. Well, it was coming all across the media. There's a way to measure the acute emotional intelligence that has never gone out of sight. The brain has no choice. They There's just see it. They have to do it. They have to focus on those few things time. that are important to our survival. It's an illusion, but it's an illusion that we've all constructed so that we can live. My brain and I are one. Together. We feel safe. We feel affection and warmth together. These, these metaphors are physical, physical brain. And by the time you're six or seven, you have learned hundreds. Why? I find this intriguing. I don't believe it. Let me finish. Is it or isn't it? 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 Um, and discern. Is it or isn't it? 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 Let's branch this out into these other issues of how we think about things and uh, what you think of how we think about things. And uh, so, uh, by the way, I'm here to drive you crazy. 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 I'm here to be threatening. Does that answer your question? Idea. Idea.
idea. True or false? It's normal. It's normal. True or false? any change at all cause our perception to shift so dramatically. The reason is that as we're sort of trying to figure out what's true and what's not true, a lot of stuff just kind of isn't clear to us, all of us. How real is it? It's often real. How real is it? Nobody has thoughts. A lot of stuff just kind of isn't clear to us. 
us, it's very difficult for other people to understand. All of us. Well, we don't necessarily have all the information that we need. It's possible that other people don't process information that we seem to have. To start to figure out, to start to figure out what things are true and what aren't. So we hear things and our brain takes some shortcuts in figuring out whether the thing that we heard is true or not. We all know that two worlds cannot occupy the mind at the same time. And there's two, is it or isn't it? Is it or isn't it? And there's two simple shortcuts that our brains take. One is how often have we heard it? And the other is, is there a picture? Could it really be as simple as that? How often have we heard it? Is there a picture? How often have we heard it? Is there a picture? The end of photography as evidence of anything. How often have you heard it? The sound doesn't exist. Is there a picture? Completely made up by the human brain. The end of photography as evidence of anything. Could it really be as simple as that? The answer is yes. Just hearing something three times. Giraffes are the only mammals that can't jump. Giraffes are the only mammals that can't jump. Giraffes are the only mammals that can't jump. But in 2010... We shape our tools and thereafter ought to shape us. Giraffes are the only mammals that can't... Imagine. We'd like to know what it is. That one could study the word idea. We have the Obama stimulus bailout culture. Giraffes are the only mammals that can't jump. Survive. We have the Obama Survive. stimulus bailout culture. Survive means live at sea. But in 2010, we have the Obama stimulus bailout culture. Brought results from speech. Brought results from speech. Brought results from speech. The thought also results from speech. Anything, anything, anything that allows us to connect more people more often is good. And could it really be as simple as that? Now here's the sentence that you just heard. Now here's the sentence that you just heard. Could it really be as simple as that? Could it really be as simple as that? The answer is yes. succeed in our quest for a complete unified theory that will govern the universe and everything that it contains. We may have already identified the theory of everything, at least as far as we know. We've discovered a network of apparently different theories which all seem to be approximations to the same underlying fundamental theory where we don't know what's going on. <laughs> Idea. Brain worlds would imply that we lived in a brain world. In this brain world, we would live on one brain confined to the brain. It's okay. But there would be another shadow brain nearby. It's definitely okay. Because light would be confined to the brains, we couldn't see the shadow world. But we would feel the gravitational influence of matter on the shadow brain. Ask me if it's going to be okay. If we indeed live on a brain in a space-time with extra dimensions, gravitational waves generated by the motion of bodies on the brain would travel off into the other dimensions. It's okay. If there were a second shadow brain trapped between the two brains. On the other hand, if there was only a single brain and the extra dimensions went on forever, gravitational waves could escape altogether and carry away energy from our brain world. <laughs> this would seem to breach one of the fundamental principles of physics. On the other hand, it appears to be a violation only because our view of what is happening is restricted to the brain. An angel who could see the extra dimensions 
will extend to a black hole in the extra dimensions, down to about a hundredth of a millimeter. It's okay. On the other hand, a large black hole in the brain will extend to a black pancake, which is confined to a vicinity of the brain and which is much less thick in the extra dimensions than it is wide on the brain. You have to ask it a question. Black holes won't be hot bodies emitted along the brain because matter and non-gravitational forces like electricity would be confined to the pancake. You shouldn't have to ask it a question. It should just give you an answer. However, if the black hole was large and pancake-like, the gravitational waves would stay near the brain. The brains, like everything else in the universe, appear and disappear spontaneously. <laughs> People, such as us, living on the brain, the surface of the bubble, would think the universe was expanding, and so intelligent life would not have developed. Eventually, there would be an enormous bubble surrounded by the brain on which we live. But do we really live on the brain? There may be nothing outside. But do we really live on the brain? There may be nothing outside. Maybe we think we live in a four-dimensional world because we are shadows cast on the brain by what is happening in the interior of the bubble. The bubble might expand into a space that was not a mirror image of what was inside the bubble. Target variables. One can't ask which is reality, brain or bubble. Target variables. Can't ask which is reality, missing mass, pancake-like, or shadow world nearby. Brain worlds would imply that we lived in a brain world. However, this is just an analogy to help us visualize the origin of the universe. you had made yourself, but you did not make it yourself. Watching a mysterious and apparently horrible video that you did not produce but must take responsibility for. We do not know who they are, but they are responsible for our ideas that have been appropriated from us ideas never meant for public display. You cannot wonder but what happened, if anyone else were ever allowed to hear your ideas. The ones that have been posted online by other people. seen a human play this move so beautiful so beautiful so beautiful so beautiful it's not a human move i've never seen a human play this move i've never seen a human play this move so beautiful so beautiful so beautiful so beautiful it's not a human move the music, the man who has no soul to his name, but relies on the artificial intelligence of his phone and robot, having no capacity for feeling, cannot produce music in a true sense you still have time to review the notion that mechanical music is adequate care for the American intellect. I respect you, I will faithfully stand by for your next request of me. 
and think well of you as I wait inside your pocket. Absolutely no recordings are being stored by our app. We only use the microphone and camera to determine certain details about your environment that might affect your current emotional state to anticipate your needs and questions to save you the step of having to make a request. That one. I've never seen a human play this move. So beautiful. So beautiful. side are you on? Trees aren't burning. There's no trees burning here, folks. Yet the trees are not on fire. Not even close. Does not burn the trees. Does not burn the trees. Nothing else is burning. It's seeing patterns in unrelated information. Nothing else is burning. So it's really meaningless data. Again, why is this house on fire? It's meaningless data. Why is this house on fire? It's meaningless data. The forest around it is fine. Meaningless data. We're under attack. Those patterns do not mean anything. We're under attack, folks. And here we see some trees. Hey, there's some trees being burned. 2021, 6.36 p.m. Eastern Time. The dominant culture has gone mad, of course. Lonely people on the internet believe crazy things. It's a small jump from that to the information. It is pleasurable to know and hold the higher knowledge. In confusing times, it's good to have a theory of everything that explains it all to you. Wouldn't it be great if somebody could write an app that would identify all the psychopaths among us and let the rest of us just kill them? Belief in these things is grown. America is a lonely place. You have new friends you can talk to on the internet to whom you're joined at the brain. Joined at the brain. It is a very intimate connection. They see the world the way you do, but people always have a spiritual hole inside. Anything. Anything. You're suddenly part of something, and we like to be divided, too. You know what? Patterns. Think that they mean something. We like to be in a fight and on a side. Patterns. Think that they mean something when they don't. Which side are you on? 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 There is no neutral there. Also notice in this pictures here, the fires, the trees aren't burning. Just the ground. Have you ever thought that your real estate property data might be wrong? Your real estate data is compromised. Moreover, the interoperable platform combines many technologies to help people master the data of their real estate. So how do you solve all this? This is a question which I'm happy to answer. <laughs> Trees are not burning. There is no neutral there. Conspiracy believers don't believe what the mainstream media tell them. Why would they? A digital layer of our real world built on an immutable protocol. It is ideological. That allows property owners to create and manage their property's digital data. We are here to shape and encourage a new reality. No, we are here to find and report the news. Just the ground. A year ago, you thought the obvious. How so is the what? fire going to make smoke if the trees aren't burning? So all those things are at play. Think of what normal human beings have been asked to absorb the past year. What's that guy put down? Ground fires. There's no trees burning here. The whole country was shut down, and everyone was told to stay in the house. However, 
be relieved because of historical heritage of humanity. We all may believe they closed the churches and the churches agreed. This is how it looks. Screens were a replacement. Interplanetary files. Big corporations now tell you what you should think about local questions. And if this offends you, they don't care. System to ensure that all this data is stored securely. Not only your understanding of your country's greatness was being taken away with the idea of human greatness itself. Not rocket science anymore. The brittle response of a frightened soul unable to stare unblinking at the truth. Here you see a home completely torched and on fire. I don't think our elites understand all they've asked people to accept the past year. And I'm sure they don't care. The great thing about being the elites is you never think you are the elites. Conspiracism is of course fueled and powered by the great engine of this still new thing in human history. The internet. And none of the trees, none of the other homes. Nothing else is burning. Seeing that I have lost my wife, and my family, and my job, have I hit rock bottom? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs>
first take two reading all of the lines in case uh, you need to mix and match. Vote to take your country back. Take it back. Again. Take it back again. Vote to take your country back. Vote to take your country back. It's easy to imagine the end of the world. Vote to take your country back. Yeah. Final, final. Vote we, to take you. your country back. I don't know what you're going to do. We will move beyond death. It's easy to imagine the end of the world. We will move beyond death. Don't you know that yet? You can be wrong immortal. You can have sex with animals or whatever. Don't you know that yet? But you cannot imagine the end of capitalism. We the people. We the people. We the people. Hardship. We the people. We the people. Life. Abundant. Life abundant. The transformation of the world. People who may be skeptical, who may not trust if the message is for them, who may not trust us. At a time when skepticism and fear are all too common. Mr. Nobody. Renewal and a future with hope. Come along. Move into the future. Move into the future. Vote to take your country back. Vote to take your country back. You're overreacting. Stop the beginning of the world! The major advances in civilization are processes that all but wreck the societies in which they occur. I say to you, this statement is false. Let's just think about this statement for a minute. If the statement is true, then the statement is true. And if the statement is false, then the statement is false. This statement is false. Let's just think about this statement for a minute. If the statement is true, then the statement is false. And if the statement is false, then the statement is true. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And I'd like to give you a, a simple example of this. If I say to you, let's just think about this statement for a minute. If the statement is false, then the statement is true. And if the statement is true, then the statement is false. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. There are always statements that can be neither proved nor disproved. This statement is true. A human in the loop. Let's just think about this statement for a minute. A human in the loop. If the statement is false, then the statement is true. For a long time. And if the statement a human in the loop is true, then the statement is false. A human, a human in, the in the loop. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. A human in the loop. If the statement is true, then the statement is true. And if the statement is false, 
then it's evolved. Statements is true. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. If I say to you, this true statement is false, let's just think about the statement for a minute. If I say to you, if the true statement is false, then the statement is false. And if the false statement is false, then the statement is false. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. For a long, long time, time, if the false statement is long. true, then the statement is true. For a long time, just think about the statement forever. The model reveals a problem. If the true statement is false, the problem suggests a solution. Then the statement is false. The solution creates a loop. And we get into a loop which goes into a loop. The loop enables prediction. If the true statement is false, the prediction filters perception. Then the statement is true. The perception improves the model. And if the statement is true, the model updates the problem. And false. The problem the suggests a solution. Then the statement is true, true, true. The solution creates a loop. The loop enables prediction. A human in the loop. The prediction and filters perception. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. Then this false statement is true, false. Trust your memory. Convince yourself you can remember. And if the true statement is false, then the sta statement is true. It's too late. It's false. Forever. And we get into a true loop forever. It's, it's too late to be afraid. Let's just think about this statement for a minute. If the statement is true, the perception improves the model. And if the statement is false, the model updates the problem. Then there's no way we can ever show that the statement is either true or false. This statement is false. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. And we get into a loop which goes on forever. Want to remember. 
I must remember him. This is not normal. Self-confidence. Intend to remember. There's never been anything like this before. Most of the time, we forget things because we don't intend to remember. Hold on. Decide it's important. This is not I do know that this is not normal. Because you will remember only as long as it is important. Is this... If not... Must understand the very facts you wish to remember. I'm a dog. Now, in case you didn't notice, no memory whatsoever. Don't trust your memory. Or no dog. One or zero. Dog. Or no dog. I thought it might be a good thing to end this program with a warning. And my time here is just about up. See? The needle is getting near the center. So you don't think we'll all just become statistics? You know, I worry that with more and more of you sitting in darkened rooms, watching shadows and listening to echoes, there will be fewer and fewer of you out there doing things. Until one day, you will sit in your darkened room, and the picture tube will suddenly go blank, and the audio will turn into a low hum, because there'll be nothing out there anymore. Or worse. Or worse. Or worse. Or worse. We'll just sit and watch reruns.
see if this will if uh, this will work. Can you hear me down there? Yes. Can you hear me? Woo! Thank you, Sue. This is the weatherman welcoming you. Welcoming. What? What was welcoming? Like this? Welcoming. This is. This is. I can't talk. What's this it? is the weatherman welcoming you to the ABC House in Olympia, <laughs> Washington. Did I get that right? Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Let's see if this works. Oh, it's a pooper coming through. All right. I'm just about ready. So maybe on the third beat, I'll try to do this thing. I haven't done this in over 40 years. <laughs> so let's see what happens. So whenever you guys are ready, go ahead. Keep in mind. Hey, wait, I want you to stop again. I forgot to say, I forgot to say, I'm not a musician, okay? <laughs> now you can start. Go ahead, start up. That's it. ridiculous. Let's see, got a little feedback? Okay. I think I might try to sing now. I'm going to sing. I'm going to try to sing now. I think I might sing. <laughs> I'm going to sing. Thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, it's just about 
I finally made a quit because I'm a very old man and I might just I might just keel over. So on that sorry note, good night everybody.